Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the bear card over here. So you might be um, getting some kind of offer in a, a, a big company or, um, you know, the, the bear is about, you know, huge business or big business really. So there's some kind of... Um, uh, you know, this could be an offer that comes in for you where you have to sign a contract because you've got the ring card immediately above it. So this could well be the case that you're going to be signing a contract uh, and working in a really, you know, uh, a very influential company, really. Um, and you've got the snake card over here. So, uh, you know, this is about, uh, this talks about dealing with people that are pretty toxic or, you know, maybe uh, somebody causing a little bit of problems for you uh, because of what they're saying. So you could be well dealing with that kind of energy at the moment. So in the past, you've got the I uh, here, and this is about, um, uh, you know, seeing things or things coming to light, maybe, or even using your intuition to actually do things um, with that particular card. So this is about having insight into doing things. The four of uh, spades is like the four of swords. So, you know, stepping back, uh, looking into the um, situation and getting a new perspective on things as well. You've got that ten of swords, uh, ten of... Um, spades over here, which is about going through a lot of difficulties, a lot of problems, and, uh, you know, um, a lot of chaos, really, um, and um, which is like the ten of, um, ten of Swords, really. So you've been going through a, a lot of problems, a lot of issues. You may have had to leave that job situation because of all the fighting. You've got that whip and that uh, rod over there. So this is about continuous battles or uh, petty arguments or disagreements that you've had to deal with. Uh, maybe this is why you're changing jobs or you want to get a new job and you've been dealing with, you know, a lot of toxicity there with that snake. Somebody may be going behind your back and saying something venomous. That could be the case. So going to the future, you've got the rose card over here and you've got the mountain. So the rose card is about, you know, good things coming to you, but, you know, the roses always have thorns in them. So there could be some, you know, little obstacles, little problems that you're going to be dealing with. People, you know, they talk about a thorn in your side. So these are little thorns that you are going to be dealing with. So there might be a few problems that you have to be dealing with. But all in all, the rose card is a pretty good card. It, it's talking about being successful at what you're doing and getting what you really want. You've got the mountain over there, which is about uh, facing some kind of obstacle or some kind of um, issue that prevents you from moving forward. It's going, you know, you're going to be able to get over it, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of effort on your part because these mountains are really hard to climb. So you will get through this uh, particular situation. Uh, it might be a little bit of a struggle, but you will be able to sort things through. Uh, it, you know, you get what you need. To, you'll be where you need to be. Uh, even with this rose card, although you've got these thorns over here, you know, you will get that, you know, the, the flower, the rose coming through. So, uh, you know, there will be success at the end, but there's going to be a little bit of problems that you're going to have to deal with. So you could be dealing, you know, with a new job here um, in a really big business. There might be some settling down issues that you'll have to go through. It seems like you're signing some kind of new contract as well. And just be careful about who you trust in this new job. You don't want, uh, you know, initially when you start something new, people are not always happy uh, with, um, you know, beginners in a job or where new people come in. Uh, and, you know, there could be some, uh, you know, uh, thing going on where people are being a bit venomous towards you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. Now I'm going to just draw some cards from the Ramses Tarot. Okay, so you've got the Six of Wands over here. So you have got victory after lots of problems, uh, a lot of issues that you went through. Um, with the Six of Wands, it's about, uh, you know, facing a lot of obstacles, dealing with a lot of difficult people, but being victorious in it and getting that rec recognition and success uh, after going through a, a battle, really. 
In this deck, it's showing that, you know, coming up with uh, very, very interesting solutions to your problems or very innovative solutions to problems. Uh, you can see this woman's, um, you know, getting the water out of the, the river by using this contraption here. So you've got some really good ideas and you've been putting them into place and um, using these ideas to solve uh, problems that you have been facing. It looks like there might be somebody around you that's giving you a little bit of a hand as well in whatever you're doing. Uh, it seems like a very something very technical that you might be doing at the moment or some kind of technical kind of job, uh, but whatever, you know, you've been sorting through a lot of problems and coming up with some really interesting solutions to or interesting ideas to your problems. Now, you've got the King of Cups over here, so this is your card, and it looks like you're being faced with some kind of decision here. So there's two options coming in for you uh, with that King of uh, Cups, and uh, it looks like you're asking for some kind of divine intervention, or you could even be asking for, uh, you know, some kind of advice uh, to uh, help you make that particular decision. Uh, you're really, um, you're really thinking about it, you're not... You know, you want to to make this choice, but you're not even. You, it seems like you're not listening to what people have got to say here. Uh, you got you've got this man with his hands over his head. There might be some ways or some ideas that you have that are a bit old-fashioned, uh, and you might be stuck in those old-fashioned ideas. And this card is saying that you know you need to really um, look at the new. So it might be time for you to change the way you think. Or it might be time for you to do some research and see what's uh, you know, the new way of doing things, rather than being you know doing the same thing over and over again, um, and you know not making very much progress. So you might need to go and do some research. You might need to update your skills. You might need to get some advice from somebody uh, on how you can actually uh, improve things so that you can um, you know start uh, progressing. And don't close your ears off. You need to listen to what people have got to say. Maybe there's some message that is coming in from people around you. So it's uh, you know don't be stubborn about it. Uh, is what this card is saying. Uh, you need to change. Um, you know, evolution is the thing that allows you to move forward. And if you stay stuck in the same position, you won't be able to evolve into something better or something different. And, you know, it will get boring. Um, so a need to get rid of any kind of old-fashioned ideas or old ways of thinking and move on to something brand new. So in the past, you've got the Three of Cups um, over here. So, you know, you might have been uh, spending a lot of more time with family here. You've got this woman uh, breastfeeding her child and, you know, she's doing a lot of work uh, on, in the home. So you could have been doing some kind of um, home repairs, home uh, working, at, um, you know, on on issues to deal with the home life. Uh, but you could have also uh, been spending a lot more time with your children uh, or family uh, with this uh, Three of Cups. You're enjoying it as well. You've got the Knight of Pentacles over here, so you're working very, very hard. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's hard work. Uh, you're making slow progress, but you are making progress. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're, you're getting there slowly. This is uh, a card that shows that you are on the path to success. You are going the right way. So, uh, you know, just hang in there and keep going. Uh, but you have been working pretty hard with that Knight of uh, Pentacles. So what's in your mind? You want to achieve everything. You've got that King of Pentacles. You want the money to come in. You want a new job to come in. You want a big job. You want a promotion to come in with this P King of Pentacles. So you want to achieve, uh, you know, financial success. But you also... Uh, want to get some kind of position of authority as well. So you are trying to vie for that. <clears throat> so going into the future, you've got that Ace of Wands, so some new project is going to be presented to you. It's quite a big project as well. Uh, maybe right now you don't see it, but it's definitely something that's going to give you a leadership position as well. Uh, or maybe putting you in charge of it. Um, so there is something brand new coming in, new venture coming in for you here. And it will come in quite unexpectedly, uh, it seems. Um, you know, it's going to get rid of all that cloudy situation in the back uh, and clarity coming in and also a lot of light coming in over there. So, you know, if you're going through a phase where you're feeling a bit unhappy, uh, you know, it seems like whatever this new offer is that comes in allows you to take uh, charge. This also might be some travel that is involved because the Rod's cards is about usually, you know, travel or meeting foreign people as well. Now you've got the Hermit card, so you are very focused on your work, focused on whatever you're doing. You might be learning some new skills as well. So maybe you were very stuck in the old, and this is, uh, you know, talking about learning new skills. The Hermit card is ruled by Virgo. It's also about becoming an expert at whatever you're doing. So that is how people see you or that is what you're becoming. Uh, and you're, you know, very, very focused uh, on that work. Now, uh, what uh, around you, what's going on, there is a new uh, 
collaboration, a new partnership coming in over here with this Two of Cups. So there's somebody that you're going to be working with, that you get along very well, they're very supportive, and you uh, connect with this person pretty well. Uh, you know, people talk about soulmate connections with the Two of Cups, but it's also uh, a person that you get along extremely well with, uh, who understands your very good friendship as well on the work front. And they're going to help you make plans for the future as well. So there's somebody that uh, is going to be very significant uh, in your future ventures. Now, you've got the seven of wands over here. So you are dealing with a lot of problems. Uh, you've got these rats nibbling at the grain over here. So something has caused a lot of expense. You're trying to, you know, sort out these problems. Uh, and you're worried, uh, you know, that there's going to be loss for some reason or the other. You are defending yourself or defending whatever you have accumulated. And it seems like you know, there's a little bit of chaos going on over there. So something is causing some kind of drama for you. Uh, there might be expenses going out that you didn't foresee, and uh, this is causing a little bit of financial uh, loss as well. So just go and look at your accounts and look at your bank, uh, you know, at your bank accounts, really. You, you probably do need to do some kind of financial review and take control. You've got that um, man taking control on the, on the top of that window over here. So you do need to take control of that situation. So you do need to do some kind of financial review to sort things out, get yourself organized. Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the devil card over here, the eight of wands and the nine of pentacles. Now, um, the devil card, you know, is ruled by Saturn and Saturn is about hard work. Um, it's also a card about restriction. So you are feeling very restricted by whatever you're doing at the moment. And maybe you feel that there's somebody as well uh, who's preventing you from going forward. Uh, you know, you've got the statue of Horace in front of the staircase. So you're trying to make progress, but somebody's hindering your progress. Somebody's causing problems for you. And, you know, you, you can't seem to get around this person. Uh, somebody's blocking your pathway, uh, you know, up that success uh, um, ladder. Uh, this is also about working very, very hard, very, very long hours because, uh, you know, the devil card is about uh, being very restricted in that particular situation. So you're working very, very hard with that Saturn influence there on that devil card, but there might also be somebody around you that is causing a bit of problems and preventing you from actually progressing. And you've got that nine of pentacles over here. Oh, sorry. The next card was the eight of wands. So it looks like, you know, you can see the eight of wands moving away from that uh, from that devil card. So something is going to come in and take you out of that influence. You're going to be maybe traveling um, away from this particular situation. So maybe there's some kind of promotion coming in or some kind of change in your job situation that actually physically takes you out of there. So you're, you're either leaving the job or you're actually going to be traveling a lot more, communicating a lot uh, more with people, uh, putting projects into place over there, taking control of the situation. So, you know, you might be leading a, a, a new direction in your um, work situation where you're uh, now getting out and about more than rather being stuck uh, in that particular situation that you were in or that particular position. So uh, it looks like you might be traveling quite a bit um, and that allows you to move away from that negative influence of the devil. A lot more freedom coming in there uh, with that eight of wands. You could also be getting a lot more projects and so you're going to be really, really busy. There's a lot of birds in there. So there's a lot of communication coming in. So you're going to be multitasking, doing a lot of things. Um, make sure that you are organized. Um, you know, so that it doesn't, everything doesn't go into um, chaos. You can see all these uh, wands are really, you know, planted very firmly. So make sure that all your ideas are grounded as well and be very organized. You can see everything is in a row there. Um, and, um, you know, and that's how you're going to be successful at that particular project. But there's, like I said, there's news either coming in or you're doing a lot of tasks or even a lot of travel. Uh, and you've got the Nine of Pentacles over here. So this is meeting a lot of people and getting uh, working very, very independently. Uh, you're not, um, not relying on anybody else as far as your work life goes. The Nine of Pentacles is the card of uh, you know, being uh, financially successful and uh, also getting that financial independence as well. So you know, you're managing to accumulate money over here. You'll be collaborating with a lot of people there. Uh, you know, um, with this Eight of Pentacles, it's also, you know, about foreign travel. So the, with this Nine of Pentacles, they're meeting people, making a lot of business deals as well. Uh, and, um, you know, being very, very satisfied at what you do. Also getting a lot of recognition with that Nine of Pentacles as far as the work life goes. So this new project or this new job that comes in is going to really take you away from all the negative energy and take you into something much more positive. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. Now, you are being faced with a choice with the lover's card, and you have to make that choice 
uh, from the heart. If you've had any ill health, you returned, um, you know, it returns to um, to normal. Really, you, you get you get better if you're feeling sick. Uh, so uh, you've got a choice to make here with the lovers card. Uh, so some kind of decision uh, that you have to make. And here you are, uh, you know, with that King of Cups to begin with. You had to make some kind of difficult choice. Uh, you've got the Prince of Spring over here, and it says immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship. So the Prince of Springs, Prince of Wands, it's about travels. You are going to be traveling with your work. Um, and, you know, any challenges, you will be able to overcome them. Uh, so, uh, you know, a lot of overseas travel coming in for you over here. You can see that Ace of Wands is this new job coming in, but, you know, the Wands signify overseas travel as well. So you might be changing jobs, relocating, uh, you know, working a lot more with foreign people, uh, and uh, a lot of travel coming in there for you. And then you've got the Three of Summer, which says news worth celebrating, announcements, uh, graduations, but uh, friends you cherish. So this is working with a group of people with that Three of Summer, which is the Three of Cups, and having some good uh, friendships as well with that Three of Summer. So whomever you're going to be working with, you're going to really enjoy working with them. Uh, you know, you, you people get along, will get along very well. You've got that Two of Cups over there, so a new partnership coming in over here, but also working with a a good lot of people and enjoying it. And this is also, you know, maybe getting together on, you know, uh, business social meetings as opposed to, you know, uh, just seeing the person at, on a work uh, uh, scenario. So it looks like you're, you know, gathering friends as far as your work life goes, but also, um, you know, meeting, making a lot of, uh, meeting a lot of people and celebrating something as well. So this could be even uh, some kind of uh, celebration at work that is going on uh, for you. But there's definitely an, an a really nice partnership that's coming in a very supportive partnership you will be very very focused this hermit card almost looks like the magician so you are going to be manifesting but you need to focus and there's some kind of choice you have to make maybe it's about taking this new project but if you take it it looks like it's going to bring in a lot of finance